So this is another example of picking a lock with a scope inside. Uh, we've got a um, uh, leg five lever British standard lock here. Uh, these have H levers, which are shaped like this. And uh, what I've done is I've popped a scope in so we can look at the top of the levers and how they're moving as I'm picking it. So um, let's just pop the uh, GJ Universal gauge pick in. And uh, we've got a small wire, a short wire on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the tension up and I'm going to run the pick wire backwards and forwards underneath the levers just to make sure we've got clear access, which we do appear to have. So we'll start from uh, lever one, two. And the thing about these locks, as I always say, is they take a while to make sense. They, 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 they don't bind at first. They seem all, all seem very um, slack inside. And then all of a sudden they start to respond as you're picking. So, there's lever five, four, three, two, and one. So lever five has just come up. You can hear it's tapping in its true gate. Uh, the lock has an ABA pattern, so I now need to do the same to uh, lever number three. Let's just get lever three up to match. So a lever three is on an anti-pick notch. I'm going to lift it up slightly. And now it's gone beyond its anti-pick notch and it's in its true gate. So we've got five, four, three. And this, okay, the lock has just gone into anti-pick. Um, so one of these levers now uh, is an anti-pick. So five is loose, four, three, two. So it's lever one that's in anti-pick. So what I'm going to do is just gently back this tension off and rock backwards and forwards and slowly lift that uh, lever one up. And there we go. It's just gone beyond the anti-pick and into its uh, true gate. And we've got the lock open. So that's the uh, internal view looking on top of H levers uh, inside a leg British standard five lever lock.